Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to pull my camera forward. Um, working on the unicorn. I got my tile order. So I think the last video I made, I told you, I showed these little unicorns, but I needed to order a few tiles. I don't know why I'm so out of whack here. Anywho, I got them. I got this pretty like iridescent white. And then I got this, which is called Angel Wings. And it's more like, it's a more textural iridescent. And I think, I think they look different enough that I'm going to use one for the body and one for the mane. Oh, they look the same. Dang it. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll switch it up. But what I'm first going to do, okay. So, I, I also got these little black iridescent. And I've been playing around before I start because I wanted to figure out what I was going to do. I think I'm doing the eye like this. I'm gluing, okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a decision and go with it. So I, I drew out a little pattern on my unicorn, and it's just guidelines. It's not exact. I mean, mosaics are um, glass beads, and I, um, it, there's no perfect, you know. Oops. I'm just going to set my little eyeball in, and then I just cut one of these guys. I don't, And I don't know the names of the tiles, you guys. Um, Brand, I'm new at the, the lingo. This is just a plain, kind of glossy white little tile. I cut it in half, and I'm just going to glue half on one side and half on the other to make like the eye white. I was going to give them closed eyes, but then I did this and I thought, yeah, I like the way that looks. And you can see I have a band aid because when I was cleaning my desk, I got just a little like a shard gets you and then I had one of these little she sent me oh this is what she sent me freebies of the iridescent all different colors but I had a little bag of um, iridescent just like this black one but I, I picked a gray round and I cut the little edge off it and I'm going to use that for his nostril or nair, I don't know what you call it. I never had a horse, and I don't know much about them, but I like the perspective of that. I like it. I mean, it looks a little masculine, but that's okay. Maybe my unicorn is masculine. But guess what? He's going to have a lot of flowers. So I'm going to take some of these little... This is the where I found the gray. This was probably from another vendor, and I just ordered a mixed bag of those little iridescent ones. And let's see if I have different, nope, I don't have a lot of different values of green, I was hoping. They're all the same. Maybe I'll just, and this one's kind of a little wonky too. But let's just put a few, I could use yellow. You know what, yellow might look pretty. I don't even think I have three green ones. Oh, there's one in the bag. And I can glue these down. That one's not iridescent. These two are not iridescent and that one is, so they're, it's mixed. Let's try yellow. Because, then the other, so I know that for sure. Maybe I'll pause on this. I think I'm gonna use these iridescent ones. I'm gonna cut them in half and I'm using my, my rotary um, nippers, or my, and I'm gonna cut these in half, half, not on the, not on the angle make a little pile of those and I think I'm gonna frame his ear with these I drew a little ear on there only one ear is showing and I'm just gonna frame it out like the little skin of his ear and then I'm gonna put a little pink tile inside I don't know it's my unicorn I did of course Google mosaic unicorns and for the most part there are a lot of kid ones so they're just really mixed tiles they're not very um, realistic looking so I'm going for this is kind of fat I'm gonna put the thinnest ones at the top and if it looks good I'll glue and I'm thinking it's looking pretty good Um, I have this pink. This is called, I think this is called vitreous tile. I have this pink. 
I have quite a bit of pink actually. So let me pull. I have this little like little drawer thing that I've been keeping. Trying to sort some kind of color. I thought about putting one of these. This is a ceramic petal shape. I probably could fill it with that. So you can use whatever floats your boat, whatever you have. Um, I don't love this though. I want it to be a little pinker like this. So that's, that's a no, but I was looking for something else. This one's a little wide. I'm going to put the wider ones at the bottom and narrow as I get to the top. That's just, I just thought of it. I don't know. There's no real reason for what I do. I'm just having fun. Playing around. Doing what I think looks looks like a unicorn ear. Maybe I'll cut these um, I want to make that a little shorter in the front, I think. Um, but then I have this other color, pink. I have, well, this is glitter. This is way too dark. I don't want to use this, see? Way too dark. But I have, I just ordered this too. This one. This might be pretty. Actually, I think this might be the winner. Very pink, it says. Look at that. It's got like glitter inside of it it's clear and then it has like a glitter on the bottom very cool um i think i'll be able to fill this space with one so i'm gonna make like let me get a sharpie my i'm gonna attempt to cut this now this being vitreous tile it has this bumpy stuff on the bottom it's just like the kind you would use from home depot I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt to cut it on a diagonal, kind of like this. I'm going to use these little nippers to attempt that. So I'm just going to cut, I'm going to cut it off one side, cut it off the other, and then just start lightly nipping away until it becomes a petal shape or an ear, an inner ear shape. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for these tiles to come before I could start my, mo my unicorn, but I did start a different project. Um, I'm just calling it a graffiti. Oop. It's that 12 by 12 um, kind of canvas board. Boy, that's okay. And I'm just going to grab, you can wipe off the um, magic marker. I think I like this. I think this is what I'm going to do for the ear. Just make sure I put the flashy side on top. Probably cut this in half again. I could probably cut this guy and or I just push it like that. I like it. I mean, I think it you can tell it's an ear, right? I mean, I can. Um, and when I glue, I'll be more particular. Now, for the horn, I ordered this um, let me put all I was going to use yellow, right? Let's let me just figure out what I'm doing here. I have so much stuff on my desk cuz I like to pull Pull everything out so that I have I can play. I can I can I call it audition. I can audition things that I'm thinking of using. Maybe I should put a one flower in his hair. I don't know. We'll we'll decide later. Um, but then, because I do that, I have stuff all over my desk, and it really does get chaotic. So I need to put some stuff away. So the horn. Let's do that. But I do have out my. 
uh, ball chain. This is the number 10 ball chain because I think I'm going to frame out the main because I wanted to do it curly. You can see how I drew these little curly cues. So I think I'm going to use this and just maybe I won't make that be curly. I'll just make it be a line like that to that and then I'll put a little something there and then I'll fill in. So I'm going to do that coming down here and maybe I'll outline that. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. So let's go ahead. But he's looking pretty cute. He's looking handsome. I'm going to do the main with, I ordered this. This is called Antique Gold Diamonds and this is all I got. 14 pieces. Um, looks like there's two different colors. Let me just double check. As I'm looking at it, I kind of feel like it could just be the way the light's hitting it, but no, for sure, this and this are different colors. I feel like this is more of like an orangey gold, and this is more of a yellow gold. I don't know if the camera is catching it, but I'm going to use this one, not the orangey gold. And these are a decent size, so I'm going to try cutting these too. Oh my god, I have so much stuff on my desk. All right, I got these that I'm going to use for leaves. So I have two colors of these that I'm going to use for leaves. And I'm going to just set this up here for a minute. Let me make sure I'm not zoomed in because I hate when I'm zoomed in. I was. <laughs> so to cut this, I kind of want it to be... To follow this line of the hair which I didn't even do yet but I think I'm gonna be able to cut this into like let's say I'm gonna see if I can just do it like this and it might not work but I'm gonna try it that worked pretty good so I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to get three equal width and they don't have to be perfect but I'm just kind of eyeballing it that worked out pretty good so now I have pieces that I can use to kind of go down the um, I'll do one more down the horn in such a way that it makes the horn look like it's twisting we'll see that's my thought anyway it's the idea All right so I have six pieces to start with. Let's turn this around and see if this fits. I kind of like the way that looks. Let me see what it looks like this way. No, I like it this way. I would like it to have that <coughs> Kind of the way the mane is going to swirl. I don't know if, yeah, you can see it. I'm going to come in a little bit because I forget that I'm zoomed in when I zoom. I don't need to, but let me see. Maybe another one would look better. This is a very straight one. This one's got kind of a bend to it. Um, I think what I'm going to do and, and this is going to be good. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut uh, I thought that was the right angle but it's not. Hold on. There might not be one that's what I'm hoping. I'm going to go back to the beginning one. Okay. I'm going to make it myself. I thought I would be able to, okay. We just got to get started somewhere to get this angle going up. And I think I'm just going to cut it myself. I'm going to cut that and swerve this up. So I think I'm going to cut this off and this off. Oh, 
and then just round this Probably round this a little bit too. See, I cut that too much. I'll have to move it up. Listen, I am being a bit of a perfectionist here. This doesn't have to be perfect. I, I do think I'm going to start a new one though. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cut this off and I'm going to cut and that's it. I'm not even going to round anything or I'm just going to put it on. Can't even see. Does that look? It'll look good, but it, it's not. It's easier. It's easier said than done. That's all. It's not giving me the vibe that I was going for, but it will look good enough. It will be gold. Maybe one of these fits there better. Why does it look so different? You see what I'm going for, don't you? Because some are middle pieces and some are end pieces. That's why. I think I like it. I mean, I could just do, I don't know, three pieces even. I could just go, you know, like if I took this other one. I'm thinking way too hard. But see, I could like fill that. I could just go three pieces, like maybe three triangles, you know, instead of doing that. But I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'll do it off camera and I'll come back. And then what was the other thing I was going to show you? The flowers. Okay. So for the flowers, what I was thinking was I have all of these. I don't know what they're called. They're just 15 millimeter tiles. Um, I think that's called tomato, see? And then I have two different color yellows. This is called yellow fire, which I think it was supposed to be a little bit more orangey. Like on the computer, it's hard to tell. This is just lemon yellow. And then I got the white, which is just a flat white, an off white. Let's see. This is straight white and this is off white. Because I thought if I needed to do shading, I don't know. Um, but now that I'm using the iridescent, we'll see. I could do shading. See, I could do shading like in here with the with the off white, and do the iridescent for the, and then do regular white here. Ooh, I might do that. But see, I already cut that. There's so many decisions that you have to make. It's really crazy. All right. Anyway, we're gonna make flower petals. So let's see what color flowers I want to make. I'm doing yellow centers. It's a white guy. I kind of want to just do pink. Like I'd like to use this pink again. Let's just go with this. We'll just make red tomato flowers. I'm going to pull a couple of these off. And I have the centers just laid out here. And however my petals turn out is how they're going to turn out. Like, I think there's a couple ways I could go. I could just cut these into circles, but I'm going to try and cut it into halves. And then kind of shape this half, this dot, that triangle, into um, a petal shape. Like, I'll show you. So 
So I'm cutting off the very tip and that's where it's going to sit up against the um, center. And then I'm just going to start kind of nipping the edge to like round it a little bit. And it's not, it's kind of more organic this way. It's not exact, if you know what I'm saying. So see, it, it looks triangular, but it also kind of makes the flower feel like it could be moving or folding, you know. And maybe then I'll cut one kind of like not as triangular, maybe a little off center. See, like this has a little bit more because I don't know how many it's going to take to fill all the way around. But see, that looks like it goes, and then maybe I put a real narrow one in there. See, that one's real narrow. So that's what I'm planning on doing for the flowers. And I would kind of like to do a couple different, like maybe I'll do, I could change the center color. Um, I didn't get a lot, like I didn't get any purple. I think I do have a couple purple. Oh, I do. I have this kind. That's pretty gorge. It's hard. To, I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to use this because I only need a few of them. And I also have these hearts. Ooh, maybe I'll do, I could do a flower out of heart shapes. Let me see. That's cute. Oh, I can't make decisions. All right, so I'm going to go away and come back when I've glued a couple flowers down and the horn. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit, and then I'll just show you the last bit. All right, bye. All right, I'm going to put, I just started gluing the horn, and I'm, I'll show you what else I've done. But let me come in a little bit. And I'm just using this magic marker. My head might get in the shot, and I'm going to, just there's a little bump there too and it doesn't have to be perfect but I'm just gonna trim it gently it's weird because this has a rounded the tile itself is finished it's not uh, square it's got a rounded uh, edge to it I don't even know what I did that side but I just want it to fit in this space. I think it's going to be good. See, I kind of, if it, if it has a gap there, eh, maybe I'll, my head, I'm sure my head, no, nope, my head's not in the shot. Okay, good. Let me try to do, oh yeah, that was a good one it's been hard to grasp it because it's like I said it's rounded let's see if that did it close enough I don't, I don't necessarily need it to butt right up against it because I think that the grout will get in there and give it that little actually it's gonna look striped because I'm going to See, like I should be curving it, so I think maybe I'll make the next one. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can do it. Straight. It's only going to be straight. My <laughs> craft room is just going to have glass, <laughs> like little pieces of glass everywhere. But then I'll just vacuum it. It's all right. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna go with it. Like there's a big gap there, over here. But you know, I kind of want to. Let me see if I can do it with this. I'll put this one up here. So 
So this is the most um, kind of time when you have to do this precision cutting, I would call it. Like literally like you want to make it fit into a specific space. Um, it takes a little more time, but other than that, it's, it's fun. It's like doing a puzzle. Those of you who like uh, jigsaw puzzles, I think you'd like this. I, I mean, and obviously, it's very meditative. That's the thing. Now, this one I cut to fit there, so I'm going to trim this a tiny bit. Um, because when you're focusing on something so detailed, oops, I moved that out of the way. Um, all the, all the, all your worries disappear, and you're just in the moment with your, with your project, and, uh, it's a really good place to be. <laughs> so, I mean, this is what this one's, uh, horn will look like, and I'm going to look at it face up right now real quick. Oh, I think it looks good. I'm going to like it going to be fantastic. Um, this one's kind of thick, but if I do my, if I cut it right, I can use the other half because it's getting more slender as I go up. Uh, let's go, whoops, upside down. Ouch. See those little shards? Sometimes they're on the table and um, I just stick my hand right in it and I get cut. I'll go ahead and cut that first let's see I could maybe use that I don't know where oh, here it is this could maybe go right at the top boop um, Let's put a little glue. It's upside down. You can just tell by the angle it needed to be. Um, this side, this might fit. Um, nope. I have this piece. Huh. Oopsie. So I think this is going to be fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting up tomorrow. And because I had a busy day today, I went to, I went out to lunch. It's it's restaurant week. Oops. In South Jersey, and I went to Smithville for lunch with some friends, and we did a little walking around and stuff. And I knew this package. I had gotten the package of the new tiles and I was like ah, I want to go home <laughs> but I can always do this so um, yeah tomorrow I'll just get up and come right down here and boom finish up my little unicorn the alcohol um, from the sharpie will come off uh, so don't worry about that. Now I'm getting down to these little scrappy bits. And it's kind of, let me, I have to just look at it. It looks darker at the bottom, which I kind of like because maybe it gives the impression that it's shaded. That looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. I think I made a good choice with the gold. I mean, his, his little horn could be whatever color you want. That's the magic, you know? It's like you're a little kid in a coloring book and, you know, and you it's your box of crayons. You get to create whatever color unicorn you want. I think it's going to be super cute.
I'm so sorry. So that's what happens when I'm uh, focused. I'm not looking at what the camera sees and I uh, come out of the shot. Um, I think I might be able to finish with this. Because I'd have to cut a whole nother tile. I only have these little scraps. I think I'm just going to use this piece and fill. I might have to cut it a little bit to fit. Um, like, make it a little more pointy. And, you know, if it doesn't look right, I will definitely cut another tile. I mean, but why not try this first? And chances are, it'll look just fine. Without that blue ink on it. It annoys me. I know it's going to come off after, but in the moment I don't like it really. See, like it's still on there. I'm in. I'm keeping it. It looks good to me. Oopsie, can't get my lid on. So, I will show you. Ouch, dang it. There's little shards all over. Some people use like a, it's like a grid. It's like kind of picture grid paper, but it has depth to it so that there's a surface, but then the little shards fall. I actually have one in the basement. I might have to get it out. It might be a good idea. So, I like it. Let me look. When I look in the camera, oh, excuse me. That is looking cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I'm going to, you know what? Let me just take a paper towel and push that away. Little shards. Little annoying shards. Okay. So, I ended up doing the little purple tiles that I had. I cut them kind of into more of a round petal. This was on the triangle, remember? So they're a little more triangular shape. And then I made a flower out of, these are actually beads. These are, um, oh, I can't, is it alabaster? No, wait, Ab abalone, abalone shells, right? But they're beads, there's little holes in there. So I think that's good. I used a couple of each color of the leaf shapes. I mean, they're petal shapes, they're leaves, and I could have, maybe I could have even cut them in half, and then it would have given the impression of like the little veins in the leaves, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, debating putting uh, either like a heart, one of these little guys up here, or I could do a red heart, like pull this up here and make a heart, or even a flower, like put a flower right here under his ear or something, but I'm not sure yet. And I do think I want to use, I didn't pre-cut this, so bear with me. But I do think I want to use this ball chain as um, kind of like, it's almost like it's framing it in a way. And I'm going to make curls on each, and I think I'm going to do that. So what I'm using for that is this, I want to say it's called a... Um, A, sh a shank cutter. Let me see if I have it here somewhere. Um, but I've used it, here it is, I've used it for beading, but it has a flat side here, and then it's like, anyway, you can cut the shank off of a button, but it also cuts this ball chain really well. So let's just start cutting, and I'm not going to glue just yet, but I'm going to cut the size that I want. I'm going to just place it. So this is what I call auditioning. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try to pull this over to this side because I, I was going to make it like a hook, but I don't think I need to do that. I could put a little round bead. Like what if I I don't know if I'll have enough white ones. Oh my gosh, you know what I just thought of? I have the, no, they're too big. These are um, white Millie Flory 
Here's what I was thinking. See, stuff just pops, pops in your head. Can't open it. This band-aid's got to go. All right. These are, they're, they're kind of big. Oh, there are a couple small ones. Look. So I could put the Millie Flory right there. And let me just cut this so that I can start auditioning. So I want it to go to like around there. And then I would do another piece with another little Millie Flory right here. Is that how you say it? Millie Flory? Millie Flory? Millie Flory? I don't know how to say it. And, you know, I'm using the ball to, I like mixed media, guys. I like to mix it up. OMG, we had a, I'm going to share it on my channel. We had a craft fair this weekend, Oktoberfest. And I went both days, Saturday and Sunday. And it was packed and I bought a piece off a guy. His name is James Kirk, Kirk Enterprises. Get it? <laughs> I had to. I couldn't resist it. I don't know. See, it doesn't really look curly. Like, it doesn't look like it's a curl. I think to make it look like a curl, I'd have to actually curl it around it. Or, I mean, you never know, like, once it's all tiled, if it would look more curly. Because this tile in here is going to be completely different, you know. So, I don't know what to do. Do I have enough small ones? I got one another one now this is just a mixed bag that I got from it says fire polished millifleur from wits and mosaic so I've ordered from a few different sites and pretty much had good results with with everything I've tried so here's another it's not the same oh nuts see so it's just a, because it's a mixed bag up oh, I got one more all right, I think that's all I really need. I only need four. Um, as I saying, so his piece is, it's, a, it's like a mosaic, except he doesn't, it's a mirror frame. It's a mirror. So he did the frame, and he makes the frames, so he uses wood, and he does some inlay. Um, but he puts resin over it instead of grouting it. And I just, I just had to have, I had to have this one piece, and it's in my, it's in the Zen Den. So, um, yeah, I will definitely share that with you guys. Like, I think that looks pretty cool as a separate, and then I'm kind of debating, what do I want to put for his mouth? Like, that's just too much. Um, I have, this is, this was kind of appealing to me, like something like that. I mean, I think it needs to be really thin, so, or I just have to put tiles down in such a way that it, like, the grout line becomes the mouth, you know, um, or, like, I could just use, I don't know, I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm going to wait and just, it'll come to me, and then this piece... I'm going to have to cut in two because I want it to continue. So I would go with right around here. But yeah, I don't generally buy stuff at craft shows and it's not nice to say that because I should support the crafty community, you know, but what tends to happen is I just get inspired and I see things that I, and then I just make it. I want to come home. Oh my gosh, I saw uh, this woman sculpted these dolls out of, it was like felt. And, and like she was making mermaids and witches and it was so cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I won't be making those, but you know what I mean. So I just had to buy his because I thought, now see this kind of ends here. So I'm going to end it right here. I like that. I think it looks cool. 
and then this will be all the skin color and this will be hair and maybe I'll make a couple different like swirly in other words I'll have to cut the tiles so that they follow a certain swirl but I'm kind of liking this I think I'm gonna call it a day and um, if I work on it some more ooh, and the other thing I thought of was I could put a few of those millifilor actually I have colored ones where are they um, because I could stick them in these little here we go so I have colored ones these are just white and I like those but I could actually put so actually this red one they're too big but look at this like yellow that could look decent but these are actually flower shaped black might not be a bad idea Ooh, I love to have that contrast. There's a few black ones. They're tiny. Like, look at this. Black, white, and red. Oh, look at this. It fits. Uh, there we go. I can put one here. It's a little too big. Ah. Anyway, so I'm going to play around. Like, I could actually fill this in with these little millifloris and then maybe put I don't know this big red one right here or something that looks kind of cute I'm just having fun you guys so next time I'm gonna have figured out what I'm gonna do for his little furry face and his hair his mane um, you know what I might as well just share while I have you how I glue these down so I just take this, this was, um, I purchased this from David um, Jarvanen, his name is, and he taught a class on um, Mosaic uh, Arts Online, and I did that sugar skull with him, and I ended up buying, which you don't have to, you can use what you have, but I wanted to see what he used so that I could practice and play and see you know what he used anyway he sold this to me so I'm sure you can find these at the dollar store it's just a little cheap plastic but it has a pointy nib because the big bottle that I use of um, weld bond it has a like a a weird nozzle it's like straight it's wide and I can't turn it in the direct and you only need a little dot I think David actually said in the class a dots a lot something like that so you don't want to put too much glue I do though you know me I'm an over gluer I'm an over everything heavy hand so let me just get this in here and that's it I'm just gonna glue down the little milliflory for up oh, see that's a ton of glue for this little tile and then I just make a little line of glue. That's plenty. Oh, by the way, those of you who watch my, my videos quite a bit, when I shared my butterflies, I mentioned that I had one of these little ball chain balls was ungrouted. Uh, it wasn't grouted, so I grouted it, and it's all fine. It looks great. I fixed it. Jen? How are you, sweet girl? My little friend. My little poodle. My little poodle. Hey, poodle. And that's it. I like using different media. So I have the gold and the silver. Maybe, see, I got these other things. Let me show you. Look at these. Look at these dots. My ice cream's melting. Um, I don't know where the bag is. Oh, here it is. Look. So I have little ones of these. I don't know where I could kind of pull the gold in, you know. But I like these black millifloris. Anyway, gorgeous. So that'll go somewhere when I make something else, you know. So it's fun to just accumulate a lot of different um, supplies, different shapes and sizes and styles and types, glass, 
ceramic, because I think this is ceramic. It's, it's glazed ceramic. Um, this, the stuff I used for the horn, is glass, but it all plays together. Oopsie. Stuck to my hand. So this is ceramic. Ceramic, ceramic. This is glass, you know, so I'm mixing it up. Uh, I need my little tool. I don't have my tool. And the glue dries clear, so no worries. It will be fine. And that is how I'm doing it. I like it. I think it's going to be good. And I do think I want to put these Millie Flores. Let's see if I have a small another small black one because you just get the mixed bag and you oop here we go baby there we go um you don't really get i could choose and just buy a bag of all black or something but um i just wanted to get a mixed bag so that i could see what i like and there's other kinds like there are the see these are round with the flower kind of in it so it's not that's not a good example but these are all round. They're not flower shaped. They're round. And then they have a flower inside the round. Um, the colored ones are flower shaped. So they're not round. They're all different shapes. So I have three of them. And I have four. Here's one. I might have put one down and I'm just not seeing it too. But other than that, I think I only have four. So, I mean, I think that looks good though. Just using those four. Maybe I don't even need to use four. Three is always a good way to go. Um, you know what? It, what is that called? The um, whoop. See that fit better over there. So maybe use the little one. I kind of like it. I'm excited. All right, so I'll be back with another video to show you how I'm going to do the rest. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.